What up, what up, everybody? It's your boy, your boy, KCYBC, man. Back again for another update. Let's get into it. First things first, I want to show off my new office room because I'm really hyped about it. So let's get into that real quick. checking out what I be doing I'm just informing the people man my new office punk <laughs> what's up buddy so I got the YouTube video editing and music computer right there and then the newest edition man picked up another one with the second one I'm going to try and start some side hustles uh, I want to start a clothing brand as well and I'll pros possibly probably most likely be doing a YBC merch website on this uh, computer too if the YouTube ever gets big enough. Also going to use this for school, planning on trying to get my GED as well, but yeah, super hyped on that man, super hyped. Long time, something I've wanted to do for a long time man, just trying to work hard and you know, get to a better place in life man, I just want to just grow into the person I'm trying to be man, fucking hard work pays off, I love it, but one of my most important things about the new shop, the new office. My boy Petey, he's gonna be right here next to me every day. Me and Paul miss him every day, huh, buddy? Yes, we do. All right, one more thing to cover while I'm up here at my house. I'm hyped on this too. Finally got my house painted, man. Got a nice two-tone going on. How do you like that? How do you like me now? <laughs> Fresh, baby. The two tones. Freaking two tones, yeah. <laughs> Let me hop this gate real quick. Yeah. Look at this though, really hyped on this. Look how fresh my deck is looking again. Beautiful, I love it. And I can come out here and enjoy amazing sunsets again. Freaking kick ass. Anyways, um, let's head down to the shop, go over a couple things down there, and then uh, that's how I'll over the gate. Then I will come back up here and cover all the stuff with the channel, and then uh, yeah, see you guys at the shop. Take the stang down. All right, what up, what up? Down here in the shop. Let's get into it. My roll card. Mm. My little brother Stang. Anyways, what I wanted to get into. Got the whole shop insulated. So sweet. It is so, so much nicer down here. During the winter, it's actually warm because the neighbors have a heater and it's some AC too, so now that's insulated. It's just nice year round. We can finally work on our cars without sweating or freezing. It's freaking killer. I love that. <laughs> Big time happy. Other thing. So the neighbors aren't here right now, and unfortunately their lights control this back corner. So I opened the bay right here to try and get some light in. But uh see if we can get this camera to focus. New Salt City drift flag up. Hell yeah, hyped on that. But anyways, hopefully you guys can see good. But um went through my whole area, organized all my shit, what I'm selling, what I'm keeping, what I'm junking. This is all nice. Got my cabinets all nice and organized. Everything's all freaking ready. Really hyped on that. I uh, got a couple more things to do, sort through, but anyways. Got a new tire rack on my tires. Super hyped on that. It's beautiful. I'm gonna destroy them all. It's dark, so you can't really see, but the floor's kind of uneven. I didn't really notice. Some of my pops helped me mount it to the wall behind me. Pretty sick, man. Stoked on that. <laughs> And then, big update, got another 2JZ engine, a GE, it's built, we're going to be putting that in the 91 240. Alright, so the 2JZ, the GE is going into the 91, my dream build, we're going to make this one beautiful, it's going to be a Pandem V3 kit on it, and I believe it's the V3 that I want, but yeah, we'll get that all on there, 2J it, dream car, boom. The 89 S13, the 2J S13, the comp build. So this one, I was gonna take the D-spare and have them do a bunch of work, but unfortunately, um, kind of penny pinching. Plus I got in the drifting because I wanted to work on the cars myself. So I'm gonna try and do everything that I can, possibly can with this and uh, make a bunch of build episodes with it. More build episodes too, if I do it myself. But And then anything I can't do like tuning and dyno and stuff will take to, you know, D-spare or something. But yeah, man, really hyped on that. 
we'll get into why these builds are taking longer. Anyways, if you guys are interested in the 240s, those are going to be the next two build episodes coming out. So stay tuned. Keep a lookout for those if you guys are interested in them. So I bought this uh, cheap ass go kart years ago, and I never did anything with it. it. Just sat there. I sold the engine out of it, and then it just sat there. But if you guys want to see something sick with this, if you guys want to see me build something insane with it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. We'll get to work on that thing. <laughs> it just sits there. I mean, that's what I wanted to do is just build something crazy with it. But fuck, we'll get to it. If you guys are interested, I'll make it a priority. So I used to also have my toolbox right here next to my cabinet where the garbage is. But I moved it over here next to the lift. And it is much nicer. I like it over here. It's just quick access. I'm not walking back and forth or bumming my dad's tools. So that worked out pretty sick. <laughs> See my pops uh, brought his flag down from the house. That'll look good up here. <laughs> yeah. Freaking A, man. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I finally got a banner too, the entire streets one from LS Fest. I threw it up in my corner back here. Yeah, right above my tire rack, man. Freaking sick. <laughs> All right, one of the things I wanted to say while I'm down here is uh, I want to do a better job of getting all the cars, more footage, all the vehicles, the bikes, cars, everything on the channel throughout the year, every year. I need to do better at that. I realized I didn't even ride my dirt bike last year. I was too busy trying to do all the drifting and life and a new job and everything. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that. I didn't ride my dirt bike at all last year. Um, I got the spark plug fixed, ready to rock. So I'm gonna make that a point to get out and do some riding this year. Cause what the fuck, that's, only, that's what I am. That's what I do, man. That's what I grew up doing. Started racing when I was five. I can't believe I didn't ride my dirt bike last year. Insane. Just all that drifting now. <laughs> I freaking love it. The Jixer isn't down here. My Jixer isn't down here right now. It's in a different garage. My parents have a heated garage, so I usually leave it with his bikes. But anyway, um, we got an awesome track trip planned to the Ridge in August down in Washington. That track is badass. I cannot wait to get on it. We're also going to catch FD Seattle down there and some drift events in August and September 1st is Bros Before Pro. So stay tuned for all that, man. The end of the year is going to be banger again. Anyways, yeah, we'll head back up to the house and... Uh, Start getting down to business with all the YouTube stuff. <laughs> all right, one thing I wanted to cover in this video too. Um, this is the dirt bike track. Spent my dirt bike track since I was a little kid. I learned to ride on this track when I was like three years old. Started racing when I was five. But anyway, um, we had to tear the jump in and jump out off. There used to be a big old mound of dirt right here where we jump in and out of the track. What I want to do, our tractor's been down, but I've been wanting to fix this track up big time. We got a shit ton of new dirt. This used to be all flat right here up to the dub, the two doubles, but um, it's all a bunch of new dirt. So I'd like to take this dirt when we get our tractor fixed and uh, fix this shit up and build some new hits, man. It'd be badass. Um, we got the 50 table, the step up, the two tables in the back. This track really de desperately needs to be weeded. My little brother has a sick snowboard set up right here too. But yeah, it's on the to-do list. I want to get this fixed. Man, dude, last time I rode, that tree wasn't even there, man. It's been a while since I've rode on this track. It just hasn't been the priority in life. It got busy. And, but yeah, I want to get back into this. Um, I'll cover it in a little bit here in a second on the video. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be living here much longer. So maybe another year or two. I got to... It's another thing I got to do is find a house. But <laughs> fuck, man. Life. Anyways, I'll see you guys up at the house. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear and see me pretty well. It's getting a little windy and the sun's really bright. But uh, anyway, so new playlist and videos coming. Um, I've got some ideas. I'm not gonna announce all of them because some of them are works in process. But like uh, like you might see already, there's an autocross and track section for all the autocross and track. Finally got the Mustang app. I was able to do some videos with that for you guys on the channel, which is sick. I'm hyped on that. Um, other playlists I got planned, I don't want to give away too many secrets, but I'll tell one of them is I'm going to have a stunt bike, a stunt bike playlist, um, hopefully soon, as I want to get a stunt bike, really work on my wheelies and stuff. Um, so, my previous plan, which is at the beginning of the year, end of last year, over the winter, um, I was working at DC, and, uh, I was just saving as much money as I could to get the builds going, to get as many build episodes out for you guys, and saving up for the events and everything. And uh, unfortunately, I had hurt my back there, 
like four months into when I started, which is why I missed that track day last year. But uh, I hurt my back, and they didn't want to pay workers' comp or anything. They made me sign that it was a reoccurring injury before I even got to the hospital. When I got to the MRI, it turned out I had a tear in my spinal cord. It was from the frequent bending up and bending down, stacking pallets all day, and uh, they didn't want to work with me. I stayed for like another eight months, and uh, they didn't want to work with me. They didn't want to give me any positions. I tried and talked. I put into them. Um, so I just left because my back's more important to me. I want to be able to, you know, it's, it's, it's a rough decision because I don't like being that guy, but it's just, you know, since I ventured out from the family business, you know, it's just it's part of the experiences of life, you know, so I'm, I'm all for it. It's just, it can be rough sometimes. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was the current plan was to save up as much money for the builds, um, get the S13 out. The, comp build out to some events this year but um, all that's kind of damper um, the current plan is so the last two months I haven't had a job I've just been living out of my savings unfortunately doing all these events and paying my bills and uh, trying to get my GED so uh, one of the things I'm trying to do with that second computer is get a GED and uh, build a welding school you hear that or pilot school but I'm thinking welding school because it's cheaper and I really want to get into fabrication um, I think that's the path that will help me the most down the road with what I'm trying to do with my life and drifting and cars and bikes, so it's just something I've always wanted to learn. Um, kind of a bad kid, so my teachers didn't give me much time, so I didn't really learn anything in high school. Uh, I dropped out. <laughs> but anyway, so the current plan is um, I'm just looking for, trying to get a job, get my GED. Um, in the meantime and while doing all that I'm going to be trying to do my best with getting YouTube videos I've been grinding these last like four weeks just trying to get some videos uploaded so I can get back on the frequent schedule I really want to take YouTube serious is what I want to do and uh, so yeah I gotta prioritize it a lot more and do better it's just hard to find a balance with everything going on There's big changes in my life probably won't be here for more than a couple more years either with the family business and everything. We're uh, leaving, I bet. My dad's ready to retire, so it's a lot of things in life i got to figure out, but I'm not planning on stopping this. I'm not anything. If you're in my way, just move, because I will get to my goals. I don't care what it takes. Um, so, yeah, where we're at right now, trying to see what I can, you know, trying to see what I can do and save time um, this weekend is LS Fest I'm really bummed that I can't go and make an LS video for you guys this year um, I've just ran out of money <laughs> it happens it is what it is there was also a drift event this weekend that I was going to try and get to sorry my assage <laughs> there was a drift event this weekend I was gonna try and get to as well on the 27th but it is canceled so the next two drift events won't be till the next drift event is the two day with Salt City Drift and Import Spring Show Off, which is going to be a banger. I love the two day events. And then Drift Buffet is holding a badass um, competition and uh, event out on the big track. They're going to be running the comp on the FD layout. They did that in the winter solstice event too, but I didn't make the winter events or the last two events last year because I was trying to save my money. And uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I'm gonna try and make the summer solstice event. I don't know if I'll compete on the FD layout. Um, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that personally. I'd like a cage in my car, but uh, yeah, we'll get into all that. It's gonna be another sick year. I'm gonna do my best regardless of the situations. Um, it really sucks too because my dad just dumped a lot of money into a whole new suspension system and new brakes on the vet. He's going to kill it this year. Sorry I can't be there, Pops. Go get him. You're going to slay. You always do. Killer driver. Um, I'll be down there and party with you again next year. I'm going to do my best with the channel and the socials while I try and get my job. But thank you for your patience and support. I really appreciate it. Um, doing the best I can out here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about everything I wanted to get into. Um, that I can think of off the top of my dome, what I wrote down. If I missed anything, we'll get in the next channel update. And uh, yeah, here's the 2024. Hope you guys enjoy all the videos and the content. I'm going to try and put out a lot more videos this year and more content. Like 
build episodes and stuff. And really try and transform the YouTube channel this year and uh, really progress with it. So thank you guys for following along. Thank you guys for subscribing, supporting your boy. And uh, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe too. <laughs>